toothpaste has no reason to be mint flavored. I had orange flavored toothpaste once years ago. It was odd, but not bad. When I was younger, the dentists thought my brother and I were strange children because they'd go through their list of toothpaste flavors we have bubblegum, cherry, vanilla. And we would always ask for mint. One time one of them didn't even bother to ask me and started cleaning my teeth with an orange creamsicle flavor and I gagged since I wasn't expecting it. It doesn't need to foam either. The chemical makeup of the paste is abrasive enough on its own to clean teeth. However, people responded better to foaming toothpaste because they felt like it cleaned better, even though it didn't. It's marketing and psychology. I tried to push the tuna fish and mac and cheese I was denied. Some aren't, my kids sometimes have strawberry flavor, and autistic people or others with sensory problems can get completely unflavored toothpaste. Someone once gave me some glittery fruit-flavored toothpaste. It was horrible. Just meant to taste feel cool and fresh. Like you can feel it working. Any kind of sensation you can apply to a product will make it feel like it's making a difference. Then you'll be more likely to use it consistently. As a kid I remember having AIM toothpaste in a cinnamon flavor. It was my favorite. Don't see it around anymore. Forgot which one does the orange flavored one. Think it's aqua fresh. That shit leaves your mouth like an atomic bacterial bomb went off and few survivors remain. It's propaganda by the toothpaste companies to make you feel clean with the mint. There was a vanilla mint one when I was a little kid that I really enjoyed. Now I use the sparkle fun flavored one because one I am a child and two I prefer it to just standard mint. Ever tried the cinnamon flavored ones? Mint was the best choice lol. That's why I use bubble gum flavored with Tinkerbell on the tube. She's my favorite Disney princess. I don't care if Tinkerbell isn't really a princess but I say anyone can be a fairy princess if they want to be. I remember seeing an ad from the 50s pimping bourbon flavored toothpaste and I want. My grandma uses orange and cinnamon toothpaste. I mean, orange toothpaste, and cinnamon toothpaste. I use the carafree grape toothpaste and rinse that my dentist recommended. I don't think I could go back to mint. I hate that flavor for toothpaste. I think it's cause it feels more cleaner though. Like I don't feel like my teeth are clean without the mint. Also at least for me, it keeps me away from eating drinking anything but water for a while, due to the taste. So they probably use it for the mental aspect that comes with the flavor. I order some fennel toothpaste from the UK with fluoride. It's great, hate the favor of mint. One time I had toothpaste that tasted like root beer. It was the best thing in the world. I wish I could find that particular type again. I think it was a Colgate or Aqua Fresh. Toothpaste was a brilliant marketing strategy. It used to have no taste. Like brushing with cream and so was not a winning seller. Took one brainiac to pair toothpaste with a stimulus that felt refreshing, maybe even a little burn. So now when people wake up in the morning with unbrushed teeth, their mouth would feel dirty. How to make the dirty go away? Some nice refreshing peppermint zest. Dude revolutionized toothpaste and that's how you sell a product. But yeah makes no difference. And it's not in a lot of cases. There are fennel, cardamom, herbal, cinnamon and so many other flavored and unflavored options. You're right, where's the flavor menu they offer at the dentist's office? I'm allergic to mint, and the best toothpaste flavor I've tried so far is grape. My all-time favorite toothpaste was Mild Apricot by Tom's of Maine. Naturally they stopped making it and replaced it with mint stuff. I use the Tom's strawberry flavor. It's so much better than the mint ones. I love mint, but not to the extent that they have it at now. You get like a hundred brands of mint toothpaste, and one of cinnamon. Don't you just love capitalism giving you all those choices? It associates mint with clean, so I guess people would like mint flavor more. 
Yes a thousand times yes. Especially those minty flavors that basically impede you from drinking water in the next 30 minutes or so without freezing your throat. I once got this chocolate mint flavored toothpaste by either Crest or Colgate, it was so awful that I called and complained and the company sent me coupons to replace the bundle I bought. There was once a thing called orange mint. The millennials may recall. It was not badish. Crest found that salmon flavor didn't test well with ages 1 100. I had some grape flavored toothpaste when I was a kid. It tasted really good. That's why I use kids' toothpaste Crest strawberry for kids is great. Exactly, let me have strawberry of vanilla smelling breath. I'd brush my teeth five times a day. Just reading that made me think of nacho flavor. Well, time to go puke again. Doesn't anybody remember cinnamon flavored toothpaste? That was good. I had strawberry as a kid, because I was a kid. I always preferred mint. Mint can help with nausea, which can be caused by bruising your teeth and triggering your gag reflex. Brew, you want your breath smelling like dried squid or some shit? I agree. All mint flavored toothpaste should be replaced with cinnamon flavor. X fucking actly. I'm autistic and can't handle mint well, which is why I've had trouble making myself brush my teeth. Even toothpastes that say they are a different flavor sneak mint in there I learned this recently when I bought a coconut charcoal toothpaste. I'd say the reason is to freshen your breath, just makes it smell better. Actually, mint has inherent antibacterial properties which is why we correlate the smell of mint to clean it fresh, because it means no bacteria. Or at least that's what I was told. Actually, I think there is a reason. Menthol and xylitol are antibacterial. And erk they added it to help form the habit of brushing by making people feel cleaner with the cool sensation. I hate a number of products I consider good except for the fact that they taste like toothpaste. I really wish toothpaste didn't taste like mint because it pretty much makes me unable to enjoy most minty things. Strawberry exists for kid. For something different than mint, I would like fresh apple. Because I hate mint. I would love a spicy toothpaste, kinda like Tabasco, but that's me. I hate brushing my teeth solely for this reason. Mint flavored stuff is the worst. Peppermint. Spearmint. Any of it. Yuck I still brush my teeth because if I don't then my kids will try the whole mommy didn't brush her teeth thing on me but it sucks. I hate mint stuff. In Japan, most of the toothpaste has a weird minty medicine flavor. I myself use either Spongebob toothpaste that has no mint or the vanilla flavored ones like gum detox. Can't stand mint or Colgate flavor. I'm allergic to mint so I can't use toothpaste I know there's alternatives, but those also contain things I'm allergic to so I've been using hydrogen peroxide for some years now. It's odd. I remember in the 70s 80s most restaurants provided mint or peppermint after meals and hotels put chocolate mint on the pillows. What's up with the mint themes? When I was little I used strawberry toothpaste because mint was too spicy. It tasted awesome. I was literally just having this argument with myself this morning. I've been known to steal my kids. Bubblegum flavored toothpaste when I don't WNT the mint. You can buy it as an adult I promise no one will stop you face savoring delicious food. I have one with hemp oil and I swear it tastes smells like I took a bong rip right after brushing. It's terrifying lol. Coffee flavored, only since I drink coffee right after brushing and minty coffee just ain't right, but coffee toothpaste could fix that. This is by far one of the best shower thoughts I have ever encountered. Several years ago I was like I hate brushing my teeth because I don't like the mint taste so I tried to find a different flavor. It was surprisingly kinda hard. Like the other flavor was bubble gum and it was for kids. I ended up getting cinnamon which was buried in all the mint-flavored brands.